You ever wondered how to build your own weather station? Imagine having a device right on your desk that shows you the temperature and humidity in real time. Sounds cool, right? Well, today we are going to make this happen. Let's get started. First, let's gather our components. Here, what we will need for this awesome project. First, we need an Arduino board. Next, we have a 16 into 2 LCD display with 16 pins. One I2C module to simplify the wiring of LCD. Next, a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor module. This sensor provides digital output for both temperature and humidity. It can measure temperature from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius with an accuracy of plus minus 2 degrees Celsius and humidity from 20% to 90% with an accuracy of plus minus 5%. Next, we have one USB cable to connect our Arduino board to our PC or laptop, some jumper wires, a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch, and two lithium ion batteries. Let's start wiring up our weather station. First, let's take a look at the wiring diagram to see how everything connects. We'll start by connecting the DHT11 sensor module to the Arduino. It has three pins, GND, VCC and data. Now take the male to female jumper wires and insert them in the sensor module. Connect the GND pin of the sensor to the GND pin on the Arduino. Connect this VCC pin to the 5V pin on the Arduino. Data pin of the sensor to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Next, we are going to connect the I2C module to the LCD display. The I2C module has four pins, GND, VCC, SDA and SCL. Now take the male to female jumper wires and insert them in the module. Take the Arduino port. First connect the GND pin of the I2C module to the GND pin of the Arduino. Next connect the VCC pin to the 5V pins of the Arduino. Then connect the SDA pin to the SDA of Arduino. Finally connect the SCL to the SCL pin of the Arduino. Make sure to verify your connection using the circuit diagram to ensure everything is properly wired. Now that the circuit is ready, let's move on to writing the code. You can download the code and necessary library files from the link in the description below. If you have not installed the Arduino IDE yet, go ahead and do that first. In the code, we include three libraries. Word.h for I2C communication, liquidcrystal underscore I2C dot H for controlling the LCD display, and DHT dot H for reading temperature and humidity data from the DHT11 sensor. In the setup function, we initialize the LCD display and turn on the backlight. We also start the DHT sensor and print an initial message on the LCD screen. The loop function continuously reads the temperature and humidity values from the DHT sensor. If the sensor fails to take a reading, a failure message is displayed on the LCD and the loop exists. If the reading is successful, the LED display is cleared and the current temperature and humidity values are printed. The temperature is displayed in Celsius and humidity as a percentage. We then wait for a few seconds before taking the next measurement. And that's it. To upload the code to Arduino, connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable. In the Arduino ID, go to the Tools menu and select the Collect Port and choose Arduino Uno as your board. Now upload the code by clicking the Upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Power up the Arduino by using the provided batteries and the battery holder. And let's see how it works. As you can see on the LCD display, we have the current temperature and humidity readings. The temperature is displayed in Celsius and the humidity is displayed as a percentage. And that's how you build your own weather station. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our Robo Army channel for more such cool projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.